Hey guys, this is Kyle Wool, president of Revere Securities. Obviously the markets have been very volatile over the last few months, ever since the invasion from Russia into the Ukraine. We've had a, a massive move to the upside in commodity prices, which is also, you could attribute to the Biden administration's continuing to print money, which has also driven the prices up of both hard and soft commodities across the board, which I think the average consumer and the average investor has absolutely felt in their pocket when they're going to the local gas station and paying $5 a gallon, when just two years ago under a different administration, they were paying $2 a gallon. So with that, we've seen some interesting moments in the financial markets, one of which being the Federal Reserve Bank, chaired by Mr. Powell, is trying to offset the nastiness of inflation, and he is doing that by ending the tapering and beginning to raise the federal interest rates, which has also been adversarial to the mortgage markets. Now, when you see the 30-year mortgage has gone from two and a half to almost 5% inside of the last six months. So there are definitely some headwinds in the financial markets right now, but with that said, there's always opportunity. And I think the opportunity is to think about rotation out of traditional fixed income into maybe some fixed income that has the ability to withstand rising interest rates like TIPS, Treasury Protected Securities, Treasury Inflation Protected Securities, TIPS. I think those are a good place to hide. Some also floating rate securities, some real estate investment trusts. Real estate will do well in a rising inflation rate with inflation up 5%, real estate's up almost 8.5%. Also, you can look at master limited partnerships. These are other things that people will look for in a rising interest rate environment. And typically, small caps and mid caps will outperform large cap dividend paying stocks. My one message on the business bump is the long-term investor will always do well as long as you stay in good quality assets, you don't panic, you're not over leveraged. The S&P 500 over the last 50 years and every 10 year cycle has been the best performing asset. So I would say stay in there with your long-term investments, but if you need to tweak your portfolio, over concentrated in some assets that may be affected more by rising interest rates, like your traditional 30 year treasury or your large cap dividend paying stocks, you may want to pair back in those. So that's the weekly business bump from Kyle Wool, president of Revere Securities. Thanks a lot.